Working Class Beer Reviews is looking at Boulevard Unfiltered Wheat. Boulevard Brewing Company was established in 1989 in Kansas City, Missouri. Their very first brew they ever made was their Boulevard Pale Ale, in which the owner actually, the first keg produced, was taken just across the road to them in a restaurant called Ponax. And that was the first restaurant to distribute their beer. Um, Boulevard Unfiltered Wheat is their most popular offering. And honestly, when I look at other breweries, crap breweries, local breweries, whatever, most of them are on the IPA train, pale ale train, and Boulevard makes an excellent pale ale and IPA and all that stuff. But their unfiltered wheat is their most popular. And uh, I think in, as you see as we go along in the review, we'll understand why. Um, it is a, it says right here, Boulevard wheat, unfiltered wheat beer, hazy American classic. Uh, they put hazy on there because hazy has become a big thing right now, especially with the hazy IPA craze and all that. Uh, used to, they didn't have to tout that. With it being, un it was one of the only unfiltered beers on the craft market at the time when they released this in the 90s. I remember this before I was even of drinking age being served on tap at like Applebee's and stuff like that in Missouri. And it, I see it everywhere, literally everywhere. This comes in 12 ounce bottles, uh, 12 ounce cans on draft, obviously, and also in 16 ounce aluminum bottles. Um, let, I'm gonna set this right here. Let's look at what the website has to say. This is on the boulevard.com website. Unfiltered wheat beer, hazy American classic. Boulevard unfiltered wheat is a lively, refreshing ale with a naturally citrusy, natural citrusy flavor and distinctive cloudy appearance. This easy drinking American style wheat beer has become our most popular offering and the best selling craft beer in the Midwest. I mean, they could just be saying that, but I bet they have the facts to back it up. So the recommended glassware is a pint glass and uh, ABV is 4.4, so it's on the lighter side. I've used this 14. Wheat beers are not known to be hoppy. And they have a EBC, which is a color rating. So the higher the number, the darker it is. It's 7.3. As we'll see, it's not very dark at all. And if you live in the Midwest, you're if you have Boulevard beers available to you, you're going to know what Boulevard wheat is. Uh, I'm going to use this wheat beer glass, and I'm going to do a little trick that I saw. This is not brewed to be like a Belgium style wheat beer or German wheat beer, wheat beer, Hefeweizen or anything like that. A lot of those are actually a little higher in alcohol and uh, just a little more, a lot more body. This is a lot lighter. This is much more sessionable beer than what you would find to its European counterparts. But something I saw, so we're going to do this just for show, is if you take your wheat beer glass, we're going to put it upside down, we're going to turn it up, you let it, there you go, you let it empty out, they say when it comes to bottled wheat beers, that's how you're supposed to pour it. Now, that could be one of those two each his own thing, but it's kind of a, a neat trick because look at the head. I didn't have to pour it aggressively. Actually, it poured kind of slow at first until it came up to the bottom of the bottle. So, I'm sorry, it's a little dim. It got dark out. It's winter time, so this is what happens. I've got a little lamp over here, but if you look, if you can see this, it is hazy. It's cloudy. Which is exactly what it's described. It's unfiltered. They do have filtered wheat beers out there, but honestly, most wheat beers you're going to find are unfiltered. That's just the way they're served. It's kind of the style. Uh, there is a YouTube video from the Boulevard Brewery talking about their wheat beer. It's like a one-minute video. 
and it says that 20% of the wheat that they use comes from the Midwest, Missouri. So they're trying to incorporate that into their style because that's where they're from. And I think that's very admirable. I think I really like it. I have an affinity for Boulevard. Obviously, I live around here. But to see a brand get so big over time, and some people, they thought that Budweiser sell out, sold out when they went to InBev. Um, Boulevard is actually now owned by uh, Duvel, which is a Belgian company. And I think it seems very fitting that... Uh, Duvel is a huge company, a large company, but a very reputable, has a very good reputation um, for high quality beer. So I thought it was very fitting like a, a company like that would buy Boulevard. And it was from there that they kind of springboarded into their higher quality class beers, uh, their Smokestack seri series and things like that. So obviously it gave them... Um, a larger monetary range to be able to do that but this has always stood true this wheat beer so we're gonna look at this like I said it was hazy we're gonna give it a smell yeah it's not super strong because of the lower ABV but you do smell grain you, the head still sticking around a little bit it's gotten a little thinner but you can see some lacing is stuck around Wheat beers have their own distinct flavor. And if you've had a few, if you've had Blue Moon or Shock Top, you'll know exactly what I mean. And those are ales. This is an ale. Those are ales. They're at 5.2. This is a 4.4. So this is a little lower in ABV. This would be a lot, very, a lot more sessionable where you could have a few of these and it's you don't have to worry about yourself. Whereas if you get their German or European counterparts, may not be the same deal so anyway with the wheat beers you're gonna get I think they use a certain type of yeast strain for wheat beers and it gets it's a lot like the uh, Belgium style if you've seen my triple review you'll know that I've talked about the coriander which you get a little bit of that I don't get the banana note like you they say you do in uh, shock top and blue moon But it's, it's pretty light, so let's see if we can judge it based off the taste. You know, I've heard uh, Louisiana Beer Review's Ronald Terrio talk about a tap water taste. I hate to say it, but I kind of get, I understand what he's saying. It's, there is something about that. I don't know if it's the, if it's minerally or something like that, or if it's, I, I think I understand what he's trying to, what he's grasping at when he says that. I personally don't see it as a negative. When I drink this, when I smell it, when I taste it, I understand why it's so popular. It's very easy, it's very light. It doesn't have a heavy mouth feel like some wheat beers do. Um, goes down easy, it's, I could see this drinking this in hot weather when you're outside, like at the, thirst quencher type thing so when some people go for their natural light their Milwaukee's best Keystone light I could see this being a much higher alternative you know a higher quality alternative to that because I could see this quenching my thirst I could see this this would be a great reward for doing hard work when you're outside and I think that's why it's so popular. Why it's so mainstream. It's very mainstream because of that. So it's not. It, it does have character. It does have flavor. 
but it's not like the overly characteristic styles that you would get from Europe or Germany, Belgium, any of those. Some of the people that drink those would be like, that's too much, it's too strong. This has aspects of that, but it's toned down. But it's toned down to really fill in a gap in the market for people that want quality, but they don't, you know, they don't want to be overpowered. So you get a little bit of both. So yeah, kudos to you, Boulevard, for creating a masterpiece. And I really do think that you created a masterpiece with this. Uh, you see this at ballparks. Uh, I know the Royal Stadium, Chiefs, Arrowhead Stadium. So Kauffman Stadium, Arrowhead Stadium, you'll, you'll see this. Obviously, because they're both in Kansas City. Uh, you'll see it in restaurants all around Kansas City and even outside of Kansas City in most places in Missouri until you get to like St. Louis and you're going to get their local breweries and stuff like that selling their beer. But in my area, yeah, we get a lot of Kansas City stuff. And uh, a lot of times they'll serve this with a little lemon wedge. My wife likes it with a lemon wedge. But you don't have to. No different than you don't have to drink Blue Moon with an orange slice. So, if you've ever had this, if you're in, if you appreciate or enjoy Boulevard, let me know. Put it down in the comments. I'd like to hear from you and see what you think about this. I appreciate you guys watching this video, and I will see you guys later.